So we are here today to interview Mark Stolzenberg, who is the founder of the New York Acting School for Film and Television. And we're actually going to get way beyond the acting part today. We're going to get into the business of being an actor because I know I went to law school and they never taught you how to be a lawyer. <laughs> and so it's, it, it, I think it's the same way in uh, acting school, right, Mark? I mean, they, you could probably spend a lot of time learning how to be an actor and not know how to run the business of being an actor. Well, yeah, that's a, that's a, exactly right. Uh, in fact, so many people call up my school and they say, oh, uh, I want to take some classes. And what you, I said, you have experience? And I go through this whole long talk. Uh, no, I have no experience. And I say, well, here's, here's how you get started. But the next after three minutes, the next question out of their mouth is, well, can you get me an agent? <laughs> Person has not taken, done, done any work at all in the business. And, you know, it's like I have to be patient with these people because I want them to sign up. You know, but uh, so uh, uh, the business side of acting is a separate thing from the art of acting. So, I mean, you also, you wouldn't take three piano lessons and say, oh, when can I get booked in Carnegie Hall? But, uh, but it's a separate skill, it's a separate topic. That's why I created a specific course called the business of acting. So when people say, well, how do I get started? You know, if I take your classes, how do I find work? Well, what about headshots? Or who's gonna do my resume? And uh, do you have any connections? I said, I say, take my business of acting class. All those questions will be answered there in the appropriate place. So you shouldn't be talking about the business while you're working on the art form, the separate things altogether. Sure. And mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I mean, for instance, just the resume itself is, an, is almost an art form, right? Well, there is a specific format that you need to for an actor's resume, and it's different from any other kind of profession. Uh, so... And you have to honor the format. Uh, when you're in an entree level as an actor and somebody looks at your resume, they will look at your resume right away and tell if you took any classes or not. Because they can tell by your resume if it's laid out properly. <laughs> if it's laid out, I mean, it could look perfectly neat and attractive. And if you're applying for a job as a, a beautician or a lawyer or a doctor, it might be fine, but not for an actor. An actor's resume has to look a very specific way with a certain pattern and uh, people in the business a casting director an agent or producer can see right away if you have the pattern down or not if you if you know what you're doing so you have to follow the format so do you and uh, i would assume that somebody again who's new and starting out commonly won't have um any uh, experience to put on the resume do you have you teach methods for being able to get experience uh, uh, even before they're really active in the field? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, first of all, even if you only have one or two things on your resume, if it's laid out properly, like I just inferred or suggested, it'll, you'll get respect. I mean, that you have to start somewhere. <laughs> and uh, so if there's only a few things on your resume, that's fine. It means you're starting out. But you do have to set it up properly and present it properly for it to look professional. Um, also, uh, I have someone at the school who does people's resumes and there's a way, you never lie on your resume or manufacture anything, that's a big no-no, never do that. But you can sort of exaggerate things or present yourself in a certain way. Uh, and uh, we have a way of pulling that out of people. So somebody who thinks they have nothing to put on their resume, by the time we're done with them, they have seven things to put there, which are all legitimate. Just has to be stated in a proper way so that you're not lying. Sure, sure. Um, mm -hmm. I think you also have another class called Star in a Movie, which mm -hmm. uh, they will actually end up with a reel and they'll end up with a with a mm -hmm. uh, something they can put on their resume, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's... I offer this course called Star in a Movie. It's kind of unusual. It's something I came up with years ago uh, where uh, I have a workshop for some of my students. Let's say 10 of my students are in the workshop and I do improvisations with them and get to know them. We talk, we hang out, we do exercises. And I get to know everybody really well. And then I write a script. 
and I write a part for each person in that workshop, a part that will show them as an actor. So in the end, I make maybe 15 to 45 minute short film. And each person has a principal leading role in the movie to show off their, themselves. And then my film production company, Circle of Life Films, produces it. And I tell everyone, you don't have to say it's a class. This is an example of what I was talking about before. Don't say it was a class. Say it was a movie you were in and you put it on your resume as an official credit. Totally acceptable and honest. And now you're building your resume with film credits that way by being in one of my movies. Yeah, plus, so, le plus you're learning by actually doing the film. You're learning technique. Right, yeah. of course. So, But like any other business, I would assume that there are ways of networking, ways of trying to find an agent. I mean, there, ways of presenting yourself in your uh, with your headshots. I mean, it must there must be like so much detail about mm -hmm. doing the business right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is. And you don't want to make mistakes either because uh, people in this business, in the film business and acting business, they remember everything. So if you do something really inappropriate or make a fool of yourself or, you know, they will remember you five years down the line, say, that guy, no. <laughs> so you want to learn proper protocol and proper manners. There's an etiquette in the business and you really need to follow. I mean, you need to you need to follow that uh, without offending people or creating a bad reputation. That's another reason why it's good not to go out auditioning everybody until you're ready. So you start auditioning when you're not ready, all you do is develop a bad reputation. And then three years down the line, when you are ready, they don't rem they remember your bad auditions. They won't, they won't call you in. Yeah, yeah, okay. So mm -hmm. a five-week a five week course or a five-session uh, course. And mm -hmm. at the end of that five weeks, they should be, uh, a student should be ready uh, to at least put together. They may not be ready to go out for that first audition, but they should mm -hmm. be ready to put together all the pieces. And uh, do you also kind of teach some kind of auditioning or something in that class? I mean, some of the techniques uh, of auditioning? Well, well, in the business class, here's exactly what we do. We do, um, I inform people about proper headshots and resumes. Mm -hmm. Headshots also have to be very, you can have a great picture of yourself, beautiful picture, but it will not necessarily be a good headshot. Headshots are very specific. So we go over that headshots, resumes, uh, then uh, after we talk about headshots and resumes, we talk about um, now that you have a headshot and resume, what do you do with it? And I tell people about sources to look for, for auditions, how to submit yourself for an audition, um, et cetera. And then uh, we have one class is dedicated to agents and managers, like where do you find them? Uh, then we talk about acting reels what should be on your reel and how to put it together and how to send out your reel. We talk about networking, the proper way to network in the business. Uh, then in the final business of acting class, I invite a professional agent or manager just to be a guest and come and talk to everybody and answer questions about the business. So it's very uh, comprehensive, the whole thing. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you, Mark. That was mm -hmm. uh, uh, great uh, to hear how that whole process unfolds. And I think it's obvious that, that somebody is going to gain tremendously from that class if they're serious about the business of acting and actually making money. In mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs>